Hello and welcome to this instalment of Talking Trim. I'm Jonathan Skinner and today we are looking at the front seat, rear seat and centre tunnel armrest kit for the Austin Healy 3000 BJ7. Now at this point I'll just mention that the front seats and the little centre cushion armrest, i.e. all the bits in the shot at the moment, they are common for the earlier Healy's as well. So this is the late BN4s, the BN6s, BN7s, BT7s, and of course the BJ7s. The rear seats are only applicable to the BJ7s. So this video as a whole, take as a rule of thumb, BJ7. Uh, that being said, let's dive on in. Um, this kit has been done in full leather, not to be confused with the OEM spec leather, which we refer to as leather faced. This is a special order where there is no elements of vinyl on these seats whatsoever. Everything's in leather, barring the piping, which is leather cloth. Uh, it's worth noting that the OEM spec was, like I say, leather faced, which meant that there were basically the main bits were leather, i.e. the bits that touch your body, but a lot of the surrounds, retainers, finishers, uh, had elements in them in vinyl. So just bear that in mind. So it's also noting at this stage, a lot of other companies out there don't offer full leather. They do refer to their kits as leather, but that is what we refer to as leather face. So just bear that in mind when you're trying to compare kits. Um, so effectively on these seats, we can offer a three tier option. You've got at one end of the scale, everything in vinyl. At the other end of the scale, everything in leather as per this set here. And then the OEM spec in the middle, which is leather faced. Uh, it's worth checking the description below. I've got quite a few links and additional information on there to links on our website showing you lots of different information, including where to buy these parts on our website, uh, but also links to other videos which you may find useful. I might have done a video showing leather face spec or full vinyl. I've definitely got some videos on there showing these parts trimmed up. Not this specific set, but BJ7 parts, uh, which go to show the quality of our work the quality of our fitment of our parts. Let's bear that in mind. All right, let's dive on in. This has been done in full leather, matted all red, using grained leather. We can also offer smooth and vomal. Vomal price on availability. The front seats consist of a pair of backrests, which aren't handed, a pair of cushion covers, which are handed or related to this seam here, which allows for the tighter turn on the inside of the gearbox there. Then you get a pair of the locating frame surrounds there. You also get these mechanism glove covers here. One sets inside out, the other one's the right way around, just for the sake of this video. Um, obviously, full leather, even these are leather in full leather set. And we do have an in-house leather skiving machine, which allows us to thin down leather, making it more pliable and applicable to those sorts of parts. Uh, something that we're renowned for in the industry is supplying suitable elements and knowing exactly what to do with the bits and bobs. Now with the cushion covers, genuine tuck and roll pleats, as you can see, we use a CNC to cut the de correct depth of the foam to allow for consistency from pleat to pleat. Um, the pleated panel is extended and used as a retainer on these seats uh, for the cushion covers. Whereas on the backrest covers, it actually has a separate sewn retainer on it. Um, it's worth noting as well the piping spec. Uh, this is obviously contrasting piping, black piping, which was a, an original colour scheme on the BJ7s. For that, uh, all of the Heelys apart from the BJ8s, whenever they refer to contrasting piping, it always contrasted on the outside, which is this outer bit of piping here, as well as the inside, which is that one. So repeat on the backrest, that's the outside piping. This is the inside piping. So that was applicable uh, to all of the Austin Heelys or Big Heelys, apart from the BJ8, which then switched to inside piping to match the main trim, i.e. it would have been red in this case, and outside piping would have been contrasting uh, for the vinyl ambler sets anyway. Uh, so just worth keeping that in mind because a lot of cars of this era switched and changed around in that regard, so I like to try and be as clear as possible on that. Um, obviously the backrest covers, again, genuine chuck and roll pleats, retainer, finishers and obviously the backrest is there and leather as well uh to show you what would have been vinyl on a leather faced set of seats i.e the oem spec horseshoe and pleated panel will be leather but this retainer these side finishers and of course the backrest back would all be vinyl for the cushion cover 
everything stays the same. Surround is leather, leather, leather. Uh, just FYI, even on the leather face, even the surround was, was leather on that. However, the cushion surrounds there, uh, location surrounds rather, would have always been vinyl on your own specs. Gloves here, you would have had one side in leather, other side in vinyl for the OEM spec. A neat trick on the gloves, trim back to that seam line there. It allows uh, you to push this up onto the um, framework a uh, lot tighter, which means you're going to get a, a closer gap up there, uh, etc. But do see my trimmed video um, for more advice on that there. Uh, but yeah, they're the front seats. Right, moving on to the centre cushion armrest. Centre cushion armrest, uh, obviously again applicable to the same here as I mentioned before, so the late BN4s up until the BJ7s. The earlier cars used a saddle type one which arched over the tunnel and the BJ8 had a completely separate one. Just going to bear that in mind. So the uh, centre cushion cover, pleated panel, that was always leather on the leather face and the full leather versions. The surround here is obviously leather on this one because it's full leather, but for the OEM leather faced versions, that would have been vinyl. It gets scrim sewn into it, which helps uh, attach it to the padding foam, which we do supply as standard with this kit here. And then they were originally stitched onto the carpets. However, worth talking to me about that element there, um, about the best way of going about that. There are easier ways than stitching it onto the carpets, um, such as Velcro, etc. So more than happy to help those uh, so that's your center cushion armrest kit moving on to the rear seats continuation you had the d tractor seats here uh, which went on the kind of rear shelf area behind the front seats uh, obviously piping there going around the pleated panel the retainer that would normally be in vinyl but because this is a full leather it has been done in leather uh, but the pleated panel and the surrounds there leather and they would would have been leather on the leather face kits as well uh moving on to the backrest back this was trimmed onto a plywood um board which had kind of a ridge surround and then a sunken part in the middle which foam goes in we can supply all of those elements there or supply it fully trimmed up if you need uh again genuine tuck and roll pleats as are obviously the uh cushion d's um again an extended pleated panel which means that you can trim round onto the board correctly. It gets this surround, which is double piped, uh, obviously in black there. Um, and then the back of it there is also a material. Obviously this is leather on this one. It would have been vinyl um, for OEM spec, leather faced versions of the seats there. So uh, yeah, that's, that's those kits there. A few other things to mention. The piping we use is leather cloth not vinyl. Leather cloth is the OEM material used by a lot of classic car manufacturers of this era. Uh, a lot of people out there use vinyl to save having to have that extra material in stock, but leather cloth is a lot more applicable to piping and edging of carpets. See our blog post for information on that. Um, it's all these extra lengths that we go to. One, to make it true to the era of car, but actually suitability to purpose uh, vinyl for piping is a bit thicker um, can snag quite easily so the majority of colors that we can offer piping for we can use leather cloth or we do use leather cloth rather a couple of the more obscure piping colors we can only get it in vinyl but we do kind of make that abundantly clear during the confirmation process so just bear that in mind um, yeah Try to keep that as concise as possible. Hope it wasn't too confusing. Quite a lot to get through on that one. Um, obviously, yeah, the key, key thing to remember is this is full leather, not leather faced, and the key differences between those. Like I say, be sure to check out the information in the description below. Follow any of the links to some of the trimmed versions of these seats here, as well as the areas on our website to buy these specific parts and covers. Obviously, if you've got any comments you want to add, please do so. Um, Please remember to like, subscribe and share with other classic car enthusiasts out there. And of course, if you want to contact me directly, just go via our website and I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to tune in next time. Cheers.